life is a story. Crystal Reisinger moved to Crestone to sing in a local band and absorb the area's well-known religious culture. Her friends tell Fox 31 she left her young daughter Kasha in the care of her father in Denver until she could get the family settled. Very much in a nature about uh, uh, raising your consciousness and living a peaceful life, nonviolent life. Um, her mantras were things like, uh, I shall do no harm. Risinger was last seen around July 13th, 2016. After witnesses say she attended a drum circle ceremony at the edge of town, a search for her turned up nothing, and the sheriff's department continues to be stymied. You do suspect foul play could be involved? We suspect that it could be. Um, we're not saying that it is, but there's always that chance that there could be. You know, she didn't just take off for a walk and not come back. She left everything that she owned behind. How do you know Crystal? Crystal and I have been friends for over a decade. I met her in 2007. We met through a mutual friend. Uh, her and her boyfriend uh, needed a roommate. I moved in instantly, and uh, we had a connection instantly uh, as the very moment I met her. She was a very magical person. Uh, she was very intuitive, and she had a lot of gifts. Uh, one of those gifts was singing. I believe she was singing an abandoned crest stone, uh, but when I knew her, um, uh, after a few drunken nights at the bar, she would always sing The Little Mermaid to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sounds like she was a lot of fun. She was a lot of fun, yes. <laughs> so what were the kinds of things that like, you and Crystal liked to do? Um, music was a huge connection. We did go to a lot of concerts. Uh, the area that we lived in, uh, I was over by the Ogden Theater and by the Fillmore because it was just an active area for concerts. Uh, so we got to enjoy quite a few together. So music was really important to her. Music was very important. When I miss her, I will ask her to communicate through me to the music because that was such a connection for us. Well, this, Crystal used to sit right here in her spiritual pose and right here right here just right in this area and just commune yeah with her spiritual self and i used to look out the window and what's she doing out it, there it would inspire me because yeah. you know it's like i was saying she's stuck with her healthy food she ate yeah. um she she kept up her at least around us her her happy, positive self. So that, that just makes all of this crap that people were talking about her harder to take. And yeah, I understand she had problems and she was, I wouldn't labor as troubled, but just having problems with life in general, trying to get her life really moving. And I guess that's what would make me angry about people that would try to disparage her. Yeah. If you want to say something to somebody while they're still living, say it. Sure. But to come out after the fact, you know, it just, it shows what kind of person those, yeah. those people are. But, uh, but she would just, she would meditate here for hours. And I, Deb and I, my wife, would just say, wow, we, we do not have that focus that even though she was unfocused in a lot of areas, she really was trying to get her spiritual self where she wanted it. Yeah.